Hi, welcome to section 3 of the course, Extraction for Text. Where the first two sections were more introductory and preparatory, this one will be more geared towards actual applying. In the previous section, we have already used machine learning models for part of speech tagging, amongst others. And in this section, we will actually train our first models as well. Put broadly, the section will cover the topic of entity extraction. First, we will check the differences between entity extraction and word search, making so the transition to named entity recognition, and seeing how we can use pre-trained existing models. Finally, how you can train your own and when you should. Now, this course is not a deep learning course, but since a lot of amazing advances have been made with deep learning and neural network architectures for NLP, we have one video as well on the current state of it for named entity recognition. So, let's get cracking with the first topic, word search versus entity extraction, where we will give a general goal statement of information extraction and see how a simple word search approach differs from a machine learning based approach. Now, first of all, the problem statement is not that hard obviously. Extract relevant pieces of information from text and get the chunks you're interested in. And back in the old days and even your first gut feeling would be to just say, well, let's just have a list of words and search through our documents. And sure, why not? If you have a search problem for a small, distinct number of entities you want to search for, this might absolutely be a valid approach. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, there's the machine learning approach. A trained classifier to give back any pieces of information that are likely relevant for your case. We will get back to that later on. But first, another word or two on the search problem. In essence, you can think of the situation as matching elements from a predetermined corpus into a document. So, wrapping it up, you have three key elements, the document on your left, the taxonomy in the middle, and the corpus on your right. Now, some things to keep in mind to help you approach this problem. On the taxonomy side, properly curate your taxonomy. Consider the forms, consider any synonyms you would like to search for as well, consider if you would like to use lemmas, etc, etc. On the searching side, think about if you want to have an exact search or a more relaxed search, where you implement regular expressions for example, or fuzzy string matching. And finally, on the document side, there's a few things you can do as well to help the problem out. Consider pre-processing your text with like tokenization or Definitely lemmatization, as we have seen before, which kind of removes the need to have like all forms of an interesting word in your taxonomy. And also consider if something like chunking could be relevant, and in one breath if bigrams should be searched for. 